Hello, my name is Jan Mattes. I'm Chief Product Manager for SAP Business by Design. And I'm now going to show you how you can leverage Microsoft Teams for managing your business. So we are all aware that Microsoft Teams is a key tool which helps us to work closer together. Um, with the Business by Design um, Teams add-on, you now can consume any kind of data uh, within Teams. So let's an, give an example. You can consume, for instance, here such a payables and receivables dashboard, which gives you a clear indication where are you standing with your business. And it's exactly the same content and exactly the same data you can also use in your by design system. What is so nice about Teams is not only that you can instantly create meetings and have online meetings, but you really have a page and a room where your people comes together in their daily work. You can chat and work around here. So you see all kinds of posts and links are possible and you can upload information. But most importantly is also that you are able to take actions directly. And let me give you here a concrete example. Um, so this is currently my receivables and I have here open receivables um, and uh, it tells me uh, right away that uh, there is one customer which is a partner which is belonging to my group Innovat which has a very high amount but here the second one really makes me worry it's Silver Star Wholesale and what I can do basically I see first of all in a glance during my team sessions which are the most critical customers but I can also drill down into the details right away, see that this is invoices, it's not credit memos. I can also see basically more details about Dunning history um, and uh, Dunning statistics for that customer. And I can directly create action and take action and say, okay, I block that customer for further deliveries, or I simply set here the ABC classification to a different stage, which will give that customer less desirable payments payment terms and probably also will influence um, his uh, uh, payment, his prices that he gets. So that's basically very simple. Uh, what you also can do is uh, to have a look into certain customers or projects. So here is an example uh, of a customer. It's that customer. I want to see more details. Who are the contact persons? I want to see the financials, the projects which are currently running. And I also can see the history of the uh, revenues which have been uh, made in the past with that customer. How significant is it? You see, by the way, here now, this is our, our, a C account. In addition, I can also add uh, more dashboards here. So what an uh, easy, uh, a nice thing would it be if I could also see here the list of my customer projects. That's what I can do. I simply paste here the URL um, and the tenant ID of my system. I want to see now the list of all my customer projects. Um, I give it a name. And then um, I basically will be able to work with the work list of all my custo active customer projects and drill down into the uh, projects as well. I hope you like what you've seen and stay tuned for more videos.